Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Well, last time we left off we uh, had a bit of an out-of-body experience and we're now following Alan as events unfolded after the day he dived into the cabin after Alice uh, back at Diver's Isle at the beginning of the game. So, here we go. Oh, go back to the cabin. The dark presence had touched oh. me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! Put it behind you. Go to the study. Is she there? Alice? She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice. And the manuscript was the ransom for her. <laughs> yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. <laughs> no. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. <gasps> oh no, I said this again! <laughs> what a way to end the episode! Oh my gosh! Let's just listen to the serene tune.
for a moment. There's an old town road with mystery of Tom the poet and his muse, and a magic lake which gave a light to the words the poet used. Whoa, massive lightning outside, man. What a, what a picturesque setting, really. Listening to the mellow tune of the end of episode 4. To my left, lightning, thunder, and it's absolutely hammering it down with rain. And I'm sat here, nice and cosy, enjoying the delights of Alan Wake. Couldn't be any better. Could not be any better. Oh yeah, the delightful tones of somebody. I don't know who he is. Anyway, let's continue to episode five. Previously on Alan Wake, under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Episode 5, The Clicker. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Watery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to uh, hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Oh, it's in the light. Hello, hello, hello. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Yeah. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, it was your idea for the motion, Barry. Hell, this is not good. That about sums it up. Oh, don't stop puking all over the damn place. I gotta sit in here and smell that crap. Oh, I am never drinking again. Uh, yeah, you said I that last time. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. Cynthia! Crazy lady. Whatever you say, what Al, look what's going on here. They're not Shh. gonna... It was an interesting read. What? Well, quite the revelation. We wake up in prison. Well, we don't wake up in prison. We woke up to Nightingale holding a gun in our face, and now we're in prison. <laughs> so, let's see what the plot uh, goes... Well, oh, sorry, where, where the plot goes from here. I'm quite intrigued to find out. So join me again next time when we shall do just that. See you soon.